Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Pioneer Slivers. We won the die roll today, so let's see what kind of a hand we can get. Um, bunch of two drops and then a bones, bone scythe. I mean, we'll keep it, like I said before, we're going to be testing out our mana and seeing how this deck runs. So I'm going to be keeping a lot of hands that maybe you would think questionable, uh, just so I can practice and figure out what the best bet is for this deck. Uh, we might even, depending on what we're on against, I think the best bet would be Metallic Mimic first. And then start dropping our other stuff, because they'll be coming in with counters if we do it that way. Uh, this might be Control. Easy read. You know, blue-white. That's all it takes. Ooh, another Metallic. Alright, yeah, let's get those down. We'll hit the Sliver. We'll tap, tap, tap. We'll hit the Sliver. We'll pass, pass, pass. 2-1, it attacks in for a decent amount, too. So if we can get two of these metallic slivers out... Ooh, ooh, it's going to be bad. All right, is this just the same guy that we uh, we played against? If this is the same guy, that's uh pretty funny. Another metallic sl All right, well, I think we're going to just keep dropping these guys here. See what happens. Um, Pass for now. Pass for now. Charter course. All right, we are going to launch at these guys in a second. Um, I think I want to get Diffusion down next. Start protecting our board. Because if this is the same deck, if this is the Jeskai Ascendancy deck again, then they will start having shocks and stuff like that. If this is the same guy. I don't even know. Mute Vault. All right. Your vault's not bad. Let's... Ah, let's just go another Mimic. Sure. If they're not doing anything yet, we're just gonna go ham on these Mimics. I will attack in with these now. If they want to trade one, fine. I mean, we've got a lot down now, so... Yeah, that's fine. We'll take out one. We'll keep their board at bay. And the next turn we can... Uh, depending on what they do, drop a Diffusion or drop a Leeching. Opt. Phone keeps going off. Chart a course again. Look for answers while you can. Uh, you know what? They got so many cards in hand. I feel like I might just drop this Diffusion. Especially if they don't play any tokens this turn. I think that's our best bet. Because if they're running the shocks, like in our last match, they can kill this Mimic when we try to drop a Diffusion. Um, but they won't be able to kill this one. And then our Diffusion will get really big. Another land would be nice. Ooh, Immortal Sun. All right. Yeah, let's let's drop the Diffusion here. Get our protection going. Yep, what I tell you. We're gonna take out that one. But we can still swing in for four, and we're in decent shape. They still got a lot of cards in hand. It'd be nice to get a fourth land. Put out two of these leechings, potentially. If we get the right land. We can at least get one out next turn. They may tap out to kill our Diffusion. That'd be cool. Alright, Jeskai Ascendancy. Alright, so this is the same deck. This might even be the same guy. I have to check my recording to see if this is the same dude we just went up against. Maybe it was a bad idea to swing in with our Metallic and let them trade. Maybe I should have just swung in with the other one. 
I don't think it's that big of a deal, but maybe that was a mistake to attack in like that. All right, treasure crews. Well, they're not putting out a lot of creatures yet. So that's good, at least. We're going to be able to keep hitting them for a lot here. And if we get another unclaimed or a sliver hive, double leeching will just finish the game. Slam both of these, it's over. Yep, they threw out their convoke. It's not going to be good anymore. Their stoke, four damage to any target. Ooh, he's swinging in. Yep, sure. I don't know what that means, but... I mean, I'll take the two and hit you for six. Potentially more. Give me a land. Good land. Uh, it's not the land I was looking for. Could just slam a bone scythe. Yeah, that seems like the best bet, right? Yeah, let's do that. Boom, boom. Double strike. Now you go to one. Shouldn't have tacked in. You need that blocker. Boom, boom, boom. Come on. Game two? Game two? Oh, hell yeah. Let's do this. Swing at your face. What do you got for one mana? Just a shock? You get to untap? Oh, right, right. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. But now who do you block? Do you just block my diffusion at this point? Still going to take a lot of damage. So you block my diffusion, then you can start clearing my board. But you take eight, and then I'm dropping leeching next turn. And swinging in with the mutavault. Oh right, it's double strike. That doesn't even work. Yeah, we got first strike on him. I don't think they realized... That that wouldn't kill my diffusion, so uh, they just staved off a little bit of damage, I guess. But they're going to shock and pay full price for this guy now. Yep. And they're still gonna need a lot to survive. Uh, I feel like no matter what they throw down here... Can you kill another creature? That's what I'm wondering. Opt. Opt's not gonna do it, man. No matter what, Leeching's coming down, I attack with the Muta Vaults. You're basically dead. You needed blockers. Or a way to kill... S my Bone Scythe, I guess. Nice. Alright. Sideboard time. Uh, let's do the same game plan as before. Pithing Needle. Uh, our Shaper Sanctuary. We'll take out one Siphon. Bone Cipher actually gaming quite nice there. Maybe I keep him in. Take out an Icon. We brought in Striking. Take out Sentinel. Sixty-two. We took out a mimic. Um, I don't really want to cut Hive Lord. Maybe we play with just one striking. Ah, we'll change it up from what we did last time and see how it goes. We'll play around with it a little bit. What would be your first cuts? One land hand, we're finally seeing our lords, uh, but we can't really keep this. We can keep this. Keep. Now what do I get rid of here? I kind of want both these. And I want shapers as well. So we get rid of Mutavolt? Put the Mutavolt back? Or we just get rid of Diffusion? I want Diffusion too, but we can't play it right now. I don't really like bottoming it. It seems like such a good card against them. I'll I'll scrap a Muta Vault in hopes of finding a blue source. 
We'll see how that works. But we're going to be able to get down Shaper Sanctuary turn one. Play your Borg. Get down a Leeching or a Predatory. And we'll see where it goes. I'm holding out hope for getting our Diffusion down. All right. Well, another Shaper Sanctuary. We're not going to be playing it yet, but... Young Pyromancer. Sliverhive? Alright, great. Mm hmm, hmm. Do I just throw down a leeching first and then a diffusion? Or do I just do diffusion right now? I guess I just do diffusion right now. All right. Next turn, we can go your bog into leeching into a second shaper sanctuary if we feel like it. All right, they kill that. Fine. But we get to draw a card now. Uh, do, is this up to us? All right. Sure. I stack those weird, but that's fine. Yes. Breeding pool. Elemental. Yep, yep, yep. Fair enough. Swing for two. I think. Oh, all right. Striking. Not bad. I do kind of want to get down striking. So let's go your bog. We'll play striking. Play down leeching. Pass. Lava Coil are striking. Yep. Uh, yes, we want to use that. Another Leeching. All right. And more tokens. Okay, so we're going to get hit for three here. And they got one card left in hand, which is nice. Just going to swing with one. That makes sense. They don't want to trade their young Pyromancer. Let's go. Let's just put down our board a little bit more. There we go. And we'll pass back to them. We'll see what happens. Be no uh, collect a company would be nice to get. So what can you do with these two cards? We lost our diffusion. We lost our striking. That was our only striking. Which is a bit of a bummer. Gale Rider. I need a Gale Rider. Maybe I should have blocked him. Dreadhorde Arcanist. Okay, that's not good. They can start flashing back their shocks and lava coils. Give me a collected company. That's not really what I wanted. Throw out another one of those. Our hand is going to refill. Uh, I should have played the breeding pool. Tapped. My bad. Alright. We're going to lose some creatures. We're going to lose our lord. 
Double Sanctuary is going to help us a lot here. That's why we sideboarded it in. That's not going to be good for us. So they're going to be able to attack. Get a shock. Untap. Pump their team. Ugh. Now we're seeing it. Yep, shock my lord. Yes. Yes. Problem is, we're just getting hit for a lot now. I think we go to game three here. It's going to be hard to recover from this. Five, six, seven, eight, ten. We're basically just going to game three. That's all that's happening. Uh, collected company. Can play metallic and then collected company. Yeah, it's just not enough, though. Uh, we're going to go to game three. Uh, I want to bring my other striking. Let's... Let's take out the Immortal Sun. Let's do it like that. We're, we're not going to get to six very, very fast anyways. We'll see what they do. Yeah, let me play first. Green pool, unclaimed, pithy needle, mana swell. Yeah, this is a uh, good hand. I like you. Unclaimed, Slither, Striking, Spend the Mana, Click the Buttons, Pass the Turn. Out Fountain, Tapped, Perfect. On the Play, Diffusion seems like it's better, so we're going to put that down next. Ooh, Hive Lord. We might be able to get there. Swing for one. So they won't be able to kill anything next turn. But the second they have three mana, they're going to go for the diffusion. Yep, create a couple tokens. We're putting down a lord next turn. Because I want to I wanna keep attacking in here. Ooh, that's nice. We got a backup one. Bam. First strike. Four damage coming at you. I feel like I'm in really good shape in this one. Even if they kill the fusion, we're dropping another one, so it's all good. But let's see what they go for. Ascendancy? We can Pithy Needle that. If we draw land, that'd be nice. Pithy Needle... Play out another diffusion. Metallic. Hmm. Let's attack first. Let's get in there. It's a bit awkward. But I think if we hit ascendancy here, they're not going to be able to combo how they want. Just guys. 
Ascendancy. Pass. Does that not affect it? Did I mess that up? Oops. I guess it doesn't affect it. Enters, activate abilities. Uh, just activate it. My bad. My bad. So that was a fail. <laughs> we should have just put down mano, mano after a metallic. Oopsies. Fail. I haven't played with Pith and Nino before. Sorry, guys. It's alright. We're at, they're at 9 life. They're not going to be able to kill any more creatures this turn again. And we can drop... Whatever we want here, really. Oh, that's beautiful. I like that a lot. Uh, yeah. Let's just do that. Uh, we'll use our unclaimed. I mean, the game's just over at this point. Concede. There we go. Cool, we win the match. Alright, Just Guy Ascendancy. We got you twice. Hopefully that wasn't boring to see the same matchup twice in a row, but we won. We got it. We got it good. So leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below what you're thinking of the deck and uh, any changes you might make. Make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to be splitting up the week, I think, from now on with Popper and Pioneer uh, for a little bit. And we'll see how the views go and what the popular, popular thing is. I'm not done with Popper. I'm not done with Popper Slivers, just so you know. But uh, I did want to go into a different realm with uh, slivers. So let me know if you're excited. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video.